Welcome dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a cosmic mystery that has recently been brought to light. Quite literally, a team of intrepid scientists has managed to create a simulation of a black hole in a lab, and to their surprise, it started to glow. This isn't just any black hole, but a carefully crafted model of a black hole's event horizon, the point of no return, created under controlled laboratory conditions using a chain of atoms. This mysterious glow could potentially illuminate our understanding of how black holes emit what is known as Hawking radiation and provide insights into the enigmatic realm of quantum gravity. The event horizon of a black hole is a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, the fastest entity in the universe can escape its gravitational clutches. In 1974, the renowned theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking proposed a mechanism of black hole evaporation via black body radiation, now known as Hawking radiation. The mathematics of Hawking radiation suggests that it would take more than 1,000 years for astrophysical black holes to evaporate via this phenomenon. The energy emitted by these black holes is so minuscule that even our most advanced technology cannot detect it, as any signal would be drowned out by the cosmic microwave background noise. This is why Hawking radiation has remained elusive, until now. A team of physicists has detected similar radiation in their lab-created black hole. So how did they make this groundbreaking discovery? How is Hawking radiation of black holes linked with quantum mechanics? And most importantly, how will this study bring us closer to the elusive, unified theory of everything? Hawking radiation emerges from a theoretical framework called quantum field theory, or QFT a blend of classical physics, special relativity, and quantum mechanics. According to QFT, the vacuum of space isn't really empty. Instead, it teems with virtual particles which pop in and out of existence in pairs, causing vacuum fluctuations or random changes in the amount of energy in space. These virtual particles always appear and vanish in pairs of a particle and an antiparticle. While this seems to violate the law of energy conservation, it's theoretically allowed because the particle and antiparticle annihilate each other within a time window provided by the energy time Heisenberg principle. Here's the twist. Sometimes the negative energy particle crosses the event horizon and gets absorbed by the black hole, provided it moves radially inwards. This means the black hole absorbs the negative energy particle from the vacuum fluctuation without violating the uncertainty principle. Meanwhile, the positive energy particle escapes into infinity. As a result, the black hole loses energy to the vacuum fluctuation due to the negative energy particle, while the energy of the rest of the universe increases because of the positive energy particle. But how is it possible for a pair of particles to be created out of nowhere? The answer lies in the intense gravity of the black hole. Imagine standing at the edge of a cosmic abyss where particles mysteriously appear near the event horizon of a black hole. This spectacle is believed to be a result of disturbances in space-time caused by the black hole's immense gravity. But, here's the twist. The mass of the black hole itself is converted into energy that manages to escape from the event horizon. This process, known as Hawking radiation, gradually reduces the mass and energy of the black hole. To truly appreciate the groundbreaking work done by researchers, it's crucial to understand the nature of Hawking radiation. Picture it as black body radiation with a Planck spectrum. This means that the thermal radiation emitted by the black hole is akin to the radiation coming from a star. Intriguingly, the temperature of this radiation is inversely related to the mass of the black body. So, the larger the black hole, the cooler it is, and the longer it will take to evaporate. For instance, a black hole with the mass of our sun would take a staggering 10 circumflex 64 years to evaporate. On the other hand, a supermassive black hole, with a mass of 100 billion solar masses, would take an almost incomprehensible 2x10 circumflex 100 years to evaporate. Hawking radiation has remained elusive for a long time because it's too faint to detect from supermassive black holes. However, its discovery could lead to groundbreaking results in physics and astronomy. To study its nature, scientists have created lab-grown black hole analogs, a team from the University of Amsterdam conducted a detailed analysis of Hawking radiation from a synthetic horizon. They began by creating a one-dimensional chain of atoms for electrons to hop from one atomic site to another, replicating the hopping of particles around the event horizon. They then mimicked the warping of space-time due to the presence of a black hole by tuning how easily electrons can hop between each site. Through this, they were able to create a synthetic event horizon and observe the effects of Hawking radiation. 
This experiment led to three critical conclusions. First, the radiation was thermal only under specific conditions of spatial variation of the hopping probability, suggesting that real hawking radiation may also only be purely thermal in certain situations. Second, entanglement, a quantum mechanical effect that explains how two particles are linked despite their vast separation, is necessary for hawking radiation. The team observed that hawking radiation is directly connected with an entanglement between objects on either side of the horizon. Finally, they concluded that hawking radiation requires a change in the warping of space-time. It only occurred when the model system started without any spatial variation of hopping probabilities, mimicking flat space-time without any horizon before it was changed into one hosting a synthetic black hole. The study of hawking radiation could fling open new doors into high-energy physics and astroparticle physics. In the grand scheme of things, studying analog black holes and hawking radiation will pave the path to explore the interplay of quantum mechanics and the gravitational field, potentially leading to the unified theory of quantum gravity. Thanks for watching the video. Also subscribe the channel.